Good evening, this is meteorologist Mark Pellerito uh, briefing you on what remains of this major winter storm tonight through Wednesday. Since the last briefing, uh, there is no uh, change overall in the expectation that the main problem, which so far has been the amount of snow, will shift to becoming mainly blowing and drifting snow tonight and into Wednesday. Winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings do continue for now, and go to our website to see the latest map on the details for that. Snow will continue. It will uh, actually be fairly heavy still this evening, but with time, it will become lighter, yet persistent, and especially up in central New York with time. Travel will remain very dangerous, and some roads will be impassable or closed, both because of current snow and also blowing and drifting snow, and that will persist through Wednesday. This here is a map. It's incomplete uh, and unofficial, but it's based on the reports that were received from multiple sources, including train spotters, through 2 p.m. this afternoon. And as you can see, uh, the heaviest snow certainly fell in northeast Pennsylvania, crossing over to the Catskills and portions of the southern tier of New York, whereas further north in the Finger Lakes to uh, Syracuse and Rome, at least through 2 p.m., the heaviest of snow had not yet arrived, but there will be additional snowfall this evening and then all the way through Wednesday. These maps here show what is expected on the left for the additional snowfall starting 2 p.m. this afternoon through 8 p.m. Wednesday. So you can see that the heaviest snow will be shifting north with time and indeed is already occurring. All told, when you add up the entire storm, we will be looking something like the map on the right. Of course, there will be variations due to some heavy banding uh, on the smaller scale, uh, but uh, in, in a general sense, you can see that the uh, amounts will be one to two feet with some places approaching two and a half feet. From 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. this evening, the heavy snowfall will continue in a band from Syracuse and Utica southward through Cortland through Binghamton, two to three inches per hour. And just outside of that, one to two inches per hour throughout much of central New York and crossing over into uh, northeast Pennsylvania. However, uh, on the southeast side of the storm, the snow mounts are quickly diminishing and will continue to do so. From 10 p.m. tonight all the way through 8 p.m. Wednesday, this becomes more of a lake-enhanced snowfall with some wraparound moisture as well. And so, uh, in general, there will be scattered snow showers in the south and then in northeast Pennsylvania, at least in the far northern counties, and through central New York, it will be still one inch per hour at times of fluffy dry snow. However, in narrow bands, due to lake enhancement, it could exceed one inch per hour at times for the area you see highlighted in red. These snowfall rates are not as high as we've seen during the first portion of the storm, and blowing and drifting snow will become the main problem with time. Tonight through Wednesday, we'll be seeing winds out of the northwest, 15 to 20 miles per hour sustained, with gusts to 35 miles per hour at times, across generally the whole area with the highest wind speeds at higher elevation. This will continue to cause impassable roads or closed roads and localized whiteouts with a lot of blowing and drifting snow, even though the snowfall rates will be significantly less than earlier in the storm. Just a heads up that as the meat of the storm wraps up during the day tomorrow, there is still some lingering wintry weather Wednesday night and into Thursday. Still some scattered lake effect snow showers downwind of Lake Ontario, especially in central New York. And while the winds will be less, they'll still be 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to 25 to 30 miles per hour. So still some blowing and drifting of that dry, fluffy snow. As we get into Thursday night, the winds die down and the snow ends. And so finally, we'll get a pretty good break. Stay safe as we continue with this historic storm across central New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Remain up to date by going to our various social media platforms or on our website.